Okay, pet parents, it's time to talk about toxoplasmosis, AKA toxo. Let's rock into it. For those of you that have never heard of this disease, toxoplasmosis is a disease caused by an organism called Toxoplasma gondii, which is a zoonotic coccidian protozoan organism that is extremely common around the world. Those were some really big words. Let's define them. Okay, so you know how the human body is made up of billions and billions of different cells that all come together to make us, us? Well, a coccidian protozoa organism means that the organism is made up of just one single cell. And the term zoonotic means, we're going to the zoo! No, that's not what zoonotic means. It means that it can be spread from animals to people. So we're not going to the zoo? Why? Toxoplasma can be found all over the world and it can infect any warm-blooded animal, including people. It's also a little bit more prevalent in tropical regions and we estimate that about a third of the percentage of people across the world are chronically infected with toxo. Toxo is also an extremely dangerous parasite when it comes to pregnancy, both in animals and in people. And human doctors recommend that people that are pregnant either don't clean out the litter box while they're pregnant or wear gloves while doing so. Even though this parasite can infect any warm-blooded animal, it is significantly more prevalent in cat populations because cats are what's called the definitive host of these little buggers. And a definitive host is just the animal that the organism needs to be inside of in order to reach sexual maturity and be able to reproduce. Okay, I'm gonna be an adult and a professional here and practice my maturity by not bringing up the obvious sexual jokes that could be made from that last statement. But fill in the blanks if you want to. Okay, and quickly moving on, before I get my maturity points taken away from me, the way people and animals contract this parasite is by ingesting something that is contaminated with the parasite. And this can either be food, water, soil, or an animal that is currently infected. Once inside the body, Toxo can go to any number of different organs, and the clinical signs that we see will depend on where exactly the organism has set up shop. When it comes to testing for Toxoplasma, there's a bunch of different tests that we can use to aid in our diagnosis, but the best way is to do a serology test and check for serum levels of IgM and IgG, which can help us determine if the pet's been exposed to Toxo, as well as determine if there's currently an active infection. And even though Toxoplasma is a parasite and not a bacteria, we treat active clinical infections with an antibiotic called clindamycin, which helps break the reproductive cycle of the Toxoplasma parasite. The prognosis of Toxoplasmosis does kind of depend on how bad the infection is and where it's been rooted, but mild cases actually have a very good prognosis and the clinical signs can resolve within a few days of starting treatment.